From ancient constructions that have withstood the test of time to contemporary creations pushing the boundaries of design, hanging houses offer a unique blend of beauty and ingenuity. Join us as we delve into the world of these extraordinary homes. We will uncover the history, craftsmanship, and incredible stories behind the people who live in these gravity-defying dwellings. Number 10. Gamshin Cultural Village Perched on the hillsides of Busan, South Korea, Gamshin Culture Village is a vivid and dynamic destination that captivates all. This vibrant town, situated in Gamshon Dong within the Saha district, is renowned for its layered streets, twisting labyrinthine alleys, and houses painted in a dazzling array of colors. Over recent years, Gamchon Culture Village has undergone significant restoration and enhancement, transforming it into a major tourist attraction. Dubbed Korea's Santorini and the Machu Picchu of Busan, this village offers a unique blend of culture, art, and history. The origins of Gamchon Culture Village are humble. It was originally a settlement for Korean War refugees, and its steep terrain made it a challenging place to live. However, the spirit of the community persevered, and over time, the village evolved into a lively and artistic neighborhood. In the early 2000s, a revitalization project spearheaded by local artists and residents breathed new life into the area. This initiative aimed to preserve the village's history while infusing it with creativity and innovation. One of the most striking features of Gamchon Culture Village is its architecture. The houses, stacked upon the steep slopes, are a testament to the ingenuity of the residents. Each building is painted in bright, eye-catching colors, creating a patchwork of hues that is both visually stunning and uplifting. The streets are narrow and winding, adding an element of mystery and adventure as visitors navigate the village. A key attraction in Gamchon Culture Village is its collection of murals and public art installations. These artworks are scattered throughout the village, turning the entire area into an open-air museum. One of the most iconic pieces is the Fish Stairs mural, which depicts a vibrant school of fish swimming upstream. This artwork symbolizes the resilience and perseverance of the community, much like the fish that swim against the current. For those seeking panoramic views, the Gamchin Culture Village Observatory is a must-visit spot. This viewpoint offers breathtaking vistas of the village and the surrounding cityscape. From here, one can truly appreciate the intricate layout of the houses and the harmonious blend of traditional and modern elements. Number 9. Tiger Nest Monastery, Paro Taktsang. Perched precariously on the cliffs of Bhutan's upper Paro Valley, Paro Taktsang, also known as the Tiger's Nest Monastery, stands as a beacon of spiritual significance and architectural wonder. This sacred Vajrayana Himalayan Buddhist site, draped in mist and mystery, is one of the most iconic landmarks in Bhutan. It is celebrated not just for its breathtaking location, but also for its profound historical and religious importance. Paro Taksang is part of a series of 13 caves known as the Tiger's Nest Caves, which stretch across historical Tibet. These caves are deeply entwined with the legend of Guru Padma Sambhava, also known as Guru Rinpoche, who is credited with bringing Vajrayana Buddhism to Bhutan in the 8th century. According to legend, Padma Sambhava flew to the site on the back of a tigress, which is how it earned the name Tiger's Nest. He is said to have meditated in the cave of Taksang Senge Samdup for three years, three months, three weeks, three days, and three hours. The monastery complex that visitors see today was constructed in 1692 under the orders of the fourth Druk Daisy, Tenzin Rabgi. It was built around the cave where Padma Sambhava is believed to have meditated. This act of devotion by Tenzin Rabgi was meant to honor Padma Sambhava and solidify the spiritual legacy of Vajrayana Buddhism in the region. The architectural marvel of Paro Taksang is a sight to behold. Clinging to the sheer cliffside, the complex is an intricate assembly of whitewashed buildings with golden roofs connected by narrow pathways and staircases. The monastery is accessible only by a steep and challenging hike, which adds to its mystique and allure. The journey to Parotaksang is as spiritually uplifting as the destination itself, with pilgrims and tourists alike traversing the dense forests, 
crossing bridges over gorges, and finally reaching the monastery that sits 3,120 meters, 10,240 feet above sea level. One of the key attractions within Paro Taksung is the Taksung Sing Samdup Cave. This cave is considered one of the most sacred sites within the monastery, as it is believed to be the exact spot where Guru Padmasambhava meditated. The cave is adorned with statues and relics, and its serene ambience offers a glimpse into the profound spiritual practices that have taken place here over centuries. Despite its ancient origins, Paro Taksang has not been immune to the ravages of time. In 1998, a devastating fire severely damaged the monastery, destroying many priceless artifacts and portions of the structure. However, with unwavering dedication, the Bhutanese government and local communities undertook extensive restoration efforts to rebuild the monastery, preserving its legacy for future generations. Number 8. Dankar Gompa Monastery High above the serene, speedy valley in northern India, perched at an elevation of 3,894 meters, lies the magnificent Dankar Gompa Monastery. This ancient Buddhist temple is located in the Lahaul and Spiti district between the towns of Kaza and Tabo, and offers breathtaking views of the valley below. The monastery, along with the village of Dankar, stands as a testament to the rich cultural and spiritual heritage of the region. Dankar Gompa, also known as Dankar Monastery, is a significant religious site in Tibetan Buddhism. It was once the capital of the Spiti Valley Kingdom, and its name, Dankar, translates to Cliff Fort, an apt description given its dramatic location atop a rugged cliff. The monastery's strategic position allowed it to serve as a fort and a lookout point, protecting the valley from invasions and providing sanctuary for its inhabitants. One of the most revered aspects of Dankar Gompa is its collection of ancient manuscripts and scriptures. These texts, some of which are over a thousand years old, provide invaluable insights into Buddhist teachings and the history of the region. The monastery's library is a treasure trove for scholars and spiritual seekers alike, preserving knowledge that has been passed down through generations. Inside the main temple, visitors are greeted by a serene statue of the Buddha, surrounded by colorful murals depicting scenes from his life and teachings. The temple also houses statues of various bodhisattvas, including Avalokiteshvara, the Bodhisattva of Compassion. The spiritual ambience of the temple, coupled with the stunning artwork, creates a profound sense of peace and reverence. A unique feature of Dankar Gompa is its location. The monastery offers panoramic views of the speedy river winding through the valley below, framed by the majestic Himalayas. The dramatic landscape adds to the monastery's allure, making it a popular destination for trekkers and adventure enthusiasts. The trek to Dankar Gompa, although challenging due to the high altitude and rugged terrain, is a rewarding experience, offering stunning vistas and a glimpse into the remote, pristine beauty of the speedy valley, the village of Dankar, located just below the monastery, is home to a small but vibrant community. The villagers, primarily of Tibetan descent, lead a simple and traditional lifestyle, deeply connected to their cultural and religious roots. The village itself is a maze of narrow lanes, traditional houses, and terraced fields, offering visitors a chance to experience the local way of life. In recent years, efforts have been made to preserve and restore Dankar Gompa. The harsh climatic conditions and natural erosion have taken a toll on the ancient structures, prompting conservation initiatives to protect this invaluable heritage site. Number 7. Al Hajar Mountainous Village High in the rugged terrain of Oman, the Al Hajar Mountainous Village stands as a testament to the rich history and cultural heritage of the region. The Sultanate of Oman is replete with monuments and archaeological sites that narrate the stories of ancient civilizations. Nestled in the Al Hajar Mountains, this village is a living museum of Omani history. The mountains themselves are among the highest in the Arabian Peninsula, with peaks reaching over 3,000 meters. The village's remote location has helped preserve its historical structures and cultural practices, making it a unique destination for those interested in the heritage of the region. Excavations have revealed artifacts from the Bronze Age, including tools, pottery, and remnants of ancient dwellings. These findings indicate that the area was inhabited by skilled craftsmen and traders who had extensive interactions with neighboring civilizations. 
The houses in Al Hajar are built from locally sourced stone and mud designed to withstand the harsh climatic conditions of the mountains. These structures are not only practical but also aesthetically pleasing, with intricate carvings and designs that reflect the artistic heritage of the Omani people. The layout of the village, with its narrow winding alleys and terraced fields, provides a glimpse into the traditional way of life that has been maintained for centuries. Water management is another fascinating aspect of Al Hajar village. The ancient Falaj system, a network of underground channels, was used to transport water from springs and wells to irrigate the agricultural terraces. This ingenious system allowed the villagers to cultivate crops such as dates, pomegranates, and various vegetables, ensuring their sustenance in the arid environment. The Falaj system is a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of the ancient Omanis and is still in use today in many parts of the country. Al-Hajar Mountainous Village is also a center of traditional Omani crafts. The villagers continue to practice age-old techniques in pottery, weaving, and metalwork, producing beautiful and functional items that are highly sought after by visitors. The preservation of these crafts is an essential part of the village's cultural heritage, and workshops are often held to teach younger generations these skills, ensuring their continuation. The surrounding landscape is characterized by dramatic mountain vistas, deep wadis valleys, and lush oases. This stunning scenery attracts hikers, nature enthusiasts, and photographers from around the world, all eager to explore the rugged terrain and capture the beauty of this remote village. Number 6. Ronda Malaga Perched high above a dramatic gorge in Spain's Malaga province, Ronda is a city that captures the essence of Andalusian charm and history. One of the most striking features of Ronda is El Tayo, a deep gorge that dramatically splits the city in two. This natural chasm, carved by the Guadalevan River, separates the old town, which dates back to the period of Moorish rule, from the newer parts of the city that emerged in the 15th century. The divide is both a physical and historical boundary, with each side of the gorge offering its own distinct character and treasures. Connecting the old and new towns is the iconic Puente Nuevo, or New Bridge, an architectural marvel completed in the late 18th century. This stone bridge spans the 120-meter deep gorge and provides not only a vital link between the two parts of Ronda, but also one of the most spectacular viewpoints in all of Spain. From here, visitors can gaze out over the expansive landscape of the Serrania de Ronda Mountains and the lush countryside below. The Puente Nuevo is a testament to the ingenuity and craftsmanship of its builders, and it remains one of the most photographed landmarks in the region. Ronda's old town, known as La Ciudad, is a maze of narrow cobblestone streets and whitewashed buildings that date back to the days of Moorish rule. This historic quarter is home to several important sites, including the Church of Santa Maria la Mayor, a former mosque converted into a church after the Reconquista. The building showcases a blend of architectural styles reflecting the city's layered history. Visitors can explore the charming squares and hidden alleys, discovering quaint shops, traditional tapas bars, and beautifully preserved houses along the way. One of its most famous attractions is the Plaza de Toros, an 18th century bullring considered one of the oldest and most picturesque in Spain. The bullring is a symbol of Ronda's deep connection to bullfighting, and it has hosted some of the most legendary events in the sport's history. The adjacent bullfighting museum provides an in-depth look at the cultural significance and evolution of this controversial tradition. Beyond its architectural and historical attractions, Ronda is also a gateway to natural beauty and outdoor adventures. The surrounding countryside offers opportunities for hiking, rock climbing, and exploring the numerous caves and natural parks in the region. The Sierra de las Nieves Natural Park, a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, is just a short drive away and provides stunning scenery and diverse wildlife. Ronda's unique position and historical significance have inspired many artists and writers over the centuries. The city's dramatic landscape and romantic ambience have been captured in the works of Ernest Hemingway and Orson Welles, both of whom spent considerable time in Ronda. Hemingway famously described Ronda as the most romantic town in Spain, and his love for the city is evident in his writings. Number 5. Star Village, Sicily 
In the heart of the Mediterranean, Sicily stands as the largest island in this iconic sea, just off the toe of Italy's boot. The island's multifaceted past is mirrored in its diverse architectural heritage, ranging from the majestic Greek temples in the Valley of the Temples to the intricate Byzantine mosaics adorning the Capella Palatina in Palermo. The Valley of the Temples, located in Agrigento, is one of Sicily's most celebrated archaeological sites. This expansive area is home to seven monumental Greek temples, built in the Doric style and dating back to the 5th century BCE. These ancient structures, dedicated to gods such as Zeus, Hera, and Heracles, offer a glimpse into the grandeur of ancient Greek civilization. The Temple of Concordia in particular is remarkably well-preserved and stands as a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Greeks. Sicily's capital city, Palermo, is a blend of cultural influences from Arab and Norman to Byzantine and Baroque. The Capella Palatina, a former royal chapel located within the Palazzo dei Normanni, is a prime example of this eclectic mix. This chapel, commissioned by King Roger II in the 12th century, is renowned for its stunning Byzantine mosaics. The glittering gold mosaics depict scenes from the Bible and are considered some of the finest examples of Byzantine art in the world. The chapel's ornate wooden ceiling, crafted by Arab artisans, adds another layer of cultural fusion, making the Capella Palatina a symbol of Sicily's diverse heritage. On the eastern edge of Sicily lies Mount Etna, one of Europe's highest and most active volcanoes. Towering at over 3,300 meters, Mount Etna dominates the landscape and has been a focal point of Sicilian culture and mythology for millennia. The volcano's frequent eruptions have shaped the surrounding landscape, creating a unique environment of fertile soils and lush vineyards. Etna's slopes are dotted with charming villages, vineyards, and orchards, where locals produce some of Sicily's finest wines and fruits. Sicily's historical significance is further highlighted by its numerous other archaeological and cultural sites. The ancient city of Syracuse, once a powerful Greek city-state, boasts a wealth of historical treasures, including the impressive Greek theater and the ear of Dionysius, a limestone cave known for its extraordinary acoustics. The town of Taormina, perched on a cliff overlooking the Ionian Sea, offers stunning views of Mount Etna and is home to the ancient Teatro Greco, a Greek-Roman theater that still hosts performances today. Beyond its historical and natural attractions, Sicily is also known for its vibrant traditions and culinary delights. The island's cuisine is a delicious blend of flavors, influenced by the various cultures that have left their mark on Sicily over the centuries. From the rich tomato-based pasta alla norma to the sweet and creamy cannoli, Sicilian food is a feast for the senses. Local markets are brimming with fresh produce, seafood, and traditional delicacies, offering a true taste of the island's gastronomic heritage. Number 4. Kandavan in the foothills of Mount Sahand in northwestern Iran, Kandavan is an ancient village that captivates visitors with its unique and historic architecture. Located in the Sahand rural district of Osku County, East Azerbaijan province, Kandavan is renowned for its distinctive troglodyte homes carved directly into the volcanic rock formations. This village, with a population of 601 people living in 168 families as of the 2006 census, offers a fascinating glimpse into a way of life that has endured for centuries. Kandavan's most striking feature is its rock-cut dwellings, which resemble a scene from a fairy tale. These homes, some of which are believed to be over 700 years old, were carved out of the natural volcanic tuff that makes up the region's landscape. The formation of these structures is attributed to ancient volcanic activity, where the softer rock was gradually eroded, leaving behind the harder, cone-shaped spires that residents later hollowed out to create their homes. The result is a unique architectural style that blends seamlessly with the natural environment. The village's name, Kandovan, is derived from the Persian word kando, meaning beehives, aptly describing the beehive-like appearance of the rock formations. Each dwelling is a marvel of traditional engineering, with rooms, windows, and staircases carved into the stone. The thick rock walls provide natural insulation, keeping the interiors cool in the summer and warm in the winter, making them highly energy efficient. 
Many of these homes are multi-story with living spaces, storage areas, and animal shelters integrated into the rock. In addition to its unique architecture, Condovan is also known for its natural beauty and therapeutic springs. The village's picturesque setting in the foothills of Mount Sahand offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape, with lush green valleys and rugged mountains creating a serene and idyllic backdrop. The area is also famous for its mineral-rich hot springs, which are believed to have healing properties and attract visitors seeking relaxation and wellness. Kandavan's cultural heritage is deeply rooted in the traditions of the Azerbaijani people. The village's inhabitants speak Azerbaijani, a Turkic language, and practice customs and traditions that reflect their rich cultural history. Number 3. Rock Village, Monsanto In 1938, the village of Monsanto earned the title of the most Portuguese town in Portugal, a testament to its unique charm and historical significance. Unlike typical Portuguese towns, Monsanto's houses are nestled between gigantic boulders, creating a surreal and captivating landscape that sets it apart from the rest of the country. Perched on a mountaintop, Monsanto offers breathtaking views of the Portuguese countryside, extending for miles and providing a scenic backdrop that captivates visitors. The strategic significance of Monsanto's mountaintop location dates back to prehistoric times. This vantage point has been a crucial defensive position for centuries, offering a commanding view of the surrounding terrain. At the summit of the village, the remains of a Templar castle stand as a testament to Monsanto's historical importance. The castle, originally constructed by the Knights Templar, served as a fortress and a place of refuge. Although partially destroyed by an explosion in the 19th century, the ruins of the castle continue to attract visitors, offering a glimpse into the village's storied past. Monsanto's architecture is one of its most striking features. The village's houses are ingeniously built into and around massive granite boulders, creating a seamless blend of natural and human-made structures. This unique construction style not only provides a visually stunning environment, but also reflects the resourcefulness and adaptability of Monsanto's inhabitants. Walking through the narrow, winding streets of the village, visitors can see how homes, shops, and even the village church are integrated into the rocky landscape. This harmony between architecture and nature gives Monsanto its distinctive character and charm. The village's name, Monsanto, is derived from the Latin Mons Sanctus, meaning Holy Mountain. This name is fitting given the village's elevated position and the sense of reverence it inspires. The local community has a deep connection to their land, and this is reflected in the village's traditions and way of life. One of the most famous landmarks in Monsanto is the Lucano Tower, which features a clock and a unique rooster weather vane. This tower is a symbol of the village and offers panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. Another notable site is the Capela de São Miguel, a small chapel built into the rock, showcasing the village's integration of natural and architectural elements. The chapel's simple yet poignant design provides a serene space for reflection and highlights the spiritual significance of the mountaintop. Monsanto's natural beauty and historical significance have made it a popular destination for tourists seeking a unique and authentic experience. The village's rugged terrain and picturesque landscapes are ideal for hiking and exploration, allowing visitors to immerse themselves in the natural surroundings. Number 2. Staircase Village 55 kilometers from Rasht in the lush Gilan province of Iran, Masule is a captivating village that seems to defy gravity. Perched on a rocky slope 1,050 meters above sea level, Masule is renowned for its unique staircase architecture, where the roofs of houses serve as courtyards and pathways for those living above. This extraordinary design has earned Masule a place among the most charming and architecturally unique destinations in the world. Masule's architecture is a marvel of human ingenuity, seamlessly blending with the mountainous and forested terrain that surrounds it. The village's construction follows the contours of the rocky slope, creating a layered effect where each level of homes and buildings appears to rise from the earth itself. This design not only maximizes space, but also offers residents stunning views of the verdant landscape. The village's layout ensures that no building overshadows another, allowing sunlight to reach every home and providing each resident with a sense of openness and connection to nature. 
The history of Masule dates back over a millennium with the village's unique architectural style evolving to meet the needs of its inhabitants over centuries. The use of local materials such as stone, adobe, and timber has given the village its distinctive appearance, with the warm, earthy tones of the buildings harmonizing with the natural surroundings. The narrow, winding streets and alleys of Masula are pedestrian only, adding to the village's charm and tranquility. This car-free environment allows visitors to fully immerse themselves in the beauty and serenity of the village, free from the noise and pollution of modern transportation. Masula's appeal extends beyond its architecture. The village is surrounded by high mountains and dense forests, making it one of the most picturesque areas in northern Iran. The natural beauty of the region is particularly breathtaking in late spring and summer when the landscape is lush and vibrant. The combination of historic architecture and stunning natural scenery attracts tens of thousands of tourists each year, both from within Iran and from around the world. For those visiting Masule, the village offers a range of accommodations to suit different preferences. Within the village itself, there are two hotels that provide comfortable lodging and a taste of local hospitality. Additionally, several hotels along the road leading to Masule offer convenient options for travelers. These establishments welcome both foreign and Iranian tourists, ensuring that all visitors have the opportunity to experience the magic of Masule. Local markets and shops offer a variety of traditional handicrafts, from woven textiles and pottery to handmade jewelry and woodwork. These items make perfect souvenirs, allowing visitors to take a piece of Masule's heritage home with them. The village's cafes and restaurants serve delicious local cuisine, giving tourists a chance to savor the flavors of the region. Masule's community is deeply connected to its environment and heritage, the villagers are known for their warm hospitality and strong sense of tradition. Throughout the year, the village hosts various cultural and religious festivals, which provide a window into the rich tapestry of local customs and celebrations. These events are a highlight for many visitors, offering an authentic experience of Iranian culture and community spirit. Number 1. Cliffs of Bonifacio Rising dramatically from the southern tip of Corsica, the cliffs of Bonifacio create an awe-inspiring spectacle that commands attention. These majestic limestone formations stretch along the island's coastline, presenting a stark contrast to the vibrant blue of the Mediterranean Sea below. The cliffs are not just a geological marvel, they serve as the dramatic backdrop to the historic town of Bonifacio, an area renowned for its rich heritage and breathtaking scenery. Bonifacio, perched precariously atop these towering cliffs, offers a unique glimpse into medieval Corsica. The town's ancient citadel stands as a fortress, its walls bracing against the relentless forces of nature and time. This citadel, with its sturdy ramparts and historic architecture, plays a crucial role in the town's defense, having stood firm through centuries of conflict and change. As you explore Bonifacio, the sweeping views from the cliffside provide a panoramic tableau of the rugged coastline and the turquoise expanse of the sea, enhancing the town's storied ambiance. The cliffs themselves are composed of striking white limestone, which has been shaped by millennia of erosion and weathering. This striking white stone contrasts vividly with the deep blues and greens of the sea and vegetation, creating a visual feast for visitors and photographers alike. The dramatic drop from the cliff edges into the azure waters below offers some of the most stunning vistas in the Mediterranean region. Walking through the narrow winding streets of Bonifacio's upper town reveals a tapestry of Corsican culture and charm. The streets are lined with quaint restaurants and shops, each offering a taste of local life. Here, visitors can savor Corsican specialties such as wild boar stew, local cheeses, and artisanal wines, all while soaking in the historical atmosphere of the ancient town. The blend of medieval architecture and vibrant local culture makes for an unforgettable experience. The area around the cliffs of Bonifacio also offers an array of outdoor activities. Adventurers can explore the nearby caves and grottos carved into the cliffs, or enjoy boat tours that reveal hidden beaches and secret coves. 
For those interested in history, a visit to the nearby cemetery offers a poignant look into the past, with its ancient graves and memorials providing insight into the lives of those who once called Bonifacio home. We are coming to an end here today. Thanks for watching and for such top listing videos, subscribe to our channel.